So all this vegetation you can see behind me is what's called Nunes Plateau Shrub Swamp. And these swamps are home to some of the most threatened species on the Nunes Plateau. Uh, things like giant dragonflies, Blue Mountains water skink, Dean's Baronia. They all require these systems to be able to survive. And one of the key features of these systems that's so important for these species is the peat layer, which sort of sits just below the vegetation layer. This peat here takes thousands and thousands of years to form, which is why when we get four wheel drives and other recreational vehicles going through the swamps, chewing up all this peat, it means that the swamps are gonna take a long time to recover. There's a pretty good chance that all the damage that's been done to date won't ever become actual peat swamp again in our lifetime and in probably our kids, 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 kids lifetime. But what we can do by blocking off access is to at least minimise the impact so it doesn't get wider and wider and wider and we lose more and more of this essential swamp resource. So often I see people come into a sport and they're new to it, so whether it be four wheel driving, motorbiking or whatever it be, and they don't understand that there's a technical element to the sport. So essentially their knowledge is right foot, donuts, doing burnouts, all of that sort of stuff, because that's all they know. The, the skill and challenge and enjoyment of the sport actually comes out when you start to understand how to technically operate that motorbike or, or four wheel drive in my case. And I love helping people to start to realise where they can go and how they can go, yet leave virtually no damage to the environment. And I think manage is the key word. It's not lock out, it's not, it's not free carte blanche access to everything. There needs to be management and it's finding that middle ground that I'm really keen about helping people to do, whether they be a land manager or whether they be a four wheel driver. Find that middle ground so that I can get access to the place with my family, with those that are important to me, but we're still respecting the environment. A few hundred metres down that way is Dargan Dam, which is a really great local tourist attraction, great place to swim, there's canyoning and all that sort of stuff. A couple of years ago, we were uh, approached by the, the managers of this, this reserve. Um, so it's managed by a local community trust, even though it's Crown land. And they were interested in, in trying to work with us to potentially block off some of the, um, the access paths down to the dam. We chose this one um, primarily because it's going through the middle of a swamp, because we found in the past that, um, you know, if the main access gets too hard, then they'll drive around and just widen the track and widen the path more and more and damage more swamp. Um, so we worked with the local trust and we put in these bits of old railway. Um, as well, uh, we got all this dead material, uh, which we used to try and sort of not only help to regenerate, there'll be some seed and things like that in there, um, but it just makes it less attractive for people um, to, to try and drive down through there. These are, these are actually in the ground a fair way as well, so you'd be doing really well to pull them out. The main reason we blocked this one is because it goes through the swamp, but because we have another good track uh, that still leads down to the dam, we're not stopping anyone from being able to do what they want to do, which is come down to the dam on a sunny day, have a bit of a swim and all that sort of stuff.